From the entrance gate campsite, we moved up to Leshalawaho campsite number three. This is a beautiful campsite overlooking the pan. It even has a shower with running water, but despite this luxury, there were no mirrors in the ablutions. The Leshalawaho waterhole was not working, so there was not a lot of game on the pan, but we did film some of the smaller creatures that visited our campsite. After a few nights at Lesha Lawaho, we moved down to Mabua Sehube Pan Campsite 3, where we met up with my parents in their Volkswagen camper, who had entered the park from the Botswana side. I'm always careful not to leave water out that might attract animals, so I put our bucket of water on the roof of the vehicle overnight. The next morning we woke up and heard a lion roaring from down on the pan. I quickly took the bucket off the roof and jumped in the car to go find the lion. We found her about a kilometre away and followed her as she walked next to the pan. The lioness then headed up the hill directly towards our campsite. My mother was standing outside trying to see what we were following, but the grass was long so she had not spotted the lion. I flashed my lights to warn her and she moved closer to the vehicle. The lioness walked right into our campsite and drank the water I had taken off the car roof before heading off along the road. She looked like she was nursing and was making the soft calls typical of a lioness calling her cubs. So we followed her as far as we could, but we lost her when she entered the thick bush. The most active waterhole while we were in the park was at Mpaya Tutuwa Pan, so we spent a lot of our time there. Thousands of doves came to drink in the afternoons and there were various raptors, jackals and herds of springbok in the area.
In Mabur Sahube, you are allowed to get out of your vehicle wherever you feel it is safe. So we usually look. prepared our meals in the oh, field. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at that. Got a hard style. The Mabur area is exceptionally beautiful and wild. There are only about 20 campsites with very limited facilities. Most have long drop toilets, but only a few have running water, and often this does not work. There are no shops at all, so it is necessary to carry everything you need. Hmm, pretty good toilet actually. Best I've seen yet. Because of the long grass, finding predators that were not in our campsite was quite difficult. So we concentrated on the smaller mammals and birds and shot a variety of time lapses of the landscapes. I also spent some time filming moving shots with a gimbal from the roof of the vehicle. This allowed me to get nice smooth motion and to shoot over the tops of the bushes. 